Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Sisi, where they discussed the bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields and ways to further enhance the cooperation to benefit both countries and their people. His Majesty praised the historical relations between the two countries and affirmed their keenness to further bolster them regarding issues of mutual interest. He praised the role of a Sisi in enhancing the bilateral relations and hailed the stances of Egypt towards Bahrain and wished Egypt a further progress progress and prosperity. The call also included discussions on topics on the regional, Arab and international levels and the need for collective efforts to face challenges in order to maintain Arab security. As Sisi expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts in further strengthening the bilateral ties. He expressed pride in the historical relations binding the two countries and affirmed the constant of Egyptian policy which considers Gulf security an integral part of the Egyptian national security. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with Abu Dhabi Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the UAE Armed Forces, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. His Majesty stressed Bahrain's strong condemnation of the Houthi militia's terrorist act that targeted vital civilian areas, facilities, and innocent civilian lives in breach of all international norms, laws, and human values. His Majesty reiterated Bahrain's solidarity with the UAE in confronting all that threatens its security and stability, backing all measures to save of the, to the such terrorist acts in order to protect the safety of citizens and residents. His Majesty added that the security of the UAE is an integral part of the security of Bahrain and the region. He extended his deepest condolences to the victims of the heinous terrorist attack and wished the injured quick recovery, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect the UAE and its brotherly people from any harm and bless them with security and prosperity. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed expresses thanks and appreciation to his Majesty the King for his fraternal feelings towards the UAE and its people, which reflects the deep-rooted bilateral relations. He wished Bahrain and its people further development, progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 3 of the year 2022, transferring the tasks and powers of the Sustainable Energy Authority to the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs. The decree stipulates the following. Article 1. The Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs undertakes all the competencies, tasks and powers entrusted to the SEA and stipulated in the laws, regulations, edicts and regulations in force in the Kingdom. Article 2. All the SEA appropriations listed in the state's general budget and all its rights and obligations shall be transferred to the Ministry of Electricity and Water Affairs and the SEA employees shall be transferred to the Ministry with the same rights and job benefits in accordance with the organization of the Ministry. Article 3. Any task that contradicts the provisions of this decree shall be repealed. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 1 of the year 2022, approving the Kingdom's accession to the Nagoya Protocol on access to genetic resources and the fair and equitability of sharing of benefits arising from their utilization to the Convention on Biological Diversity adopted on October 29, 2010. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa issued Edict 5 of the year 2022, appointing two directors at the tender board. Under the edict, Ahmed Abdullah Al Saadun was appointed as Director of the Directorate of Specification and Qualification and Reem Isa Yaqub as Director of the Directorate of Technical Affairs, both at the tender board. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday inaugurated the Zakat Al Ilm Library at Al Bayan School. His Highness affirmed the support of His Majesty the King to the education sector and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister in this regard, which contributed to the development of the sector in the Kingdom and the Education March. His Highness praised the efforts of Al Bayan School, headed by Dr. Sheikh May. 
Bey bin Suleyman Al Atebi and affirmed that this inauguration will motivate the students to gain more knowledge and help them achieve further success. His Highness then toured the school and looked into its educational methods and technology. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, praised the patronage of His Highness Sheikh Khalid and hailed his efforts in supporting the youth and sports sector in the kingdom. He also expressed appreciation to the school's chairman of the board of directors for her efforts in developing the school and achieving the aspired goals. Dr. Sheikh Hamey expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid and praised his support that contributes uh, to the development of the education sector in the kingdom. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Fawziya Zainal, has paid tribute to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, hailing his far-sighted royal vision, which represents a national roadmap for continued progress and prosperity. She praised His Majesty's keynote speech at the opening of the fourth session of the fifth legislative term, describing the royal address as a wide-ranging blueprint for further national development. The Speaker lauded the strong cooperation between the legislative branch and the government shared by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali al Saleh, delivered to His Majesty the King a report on the response on the speech that His Majesty delivered during the opening of the fourth session of the fifth legislative term. He affirmed that His Majesty's speech contributed greatly to the positive outcomes of the legislative work. He added that the legislative authority is keen on following and implementing His Majesty's directives in order to achieve further accomplishments. Al Saleh then praised the continuous cooperation and coordination between between the legislative authority and the government, led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. He affirmed that the meetings and discussions between the legislative and executive authorities are one of the important factors in supporting the reform project of His Majesty the King. 
The Minister of Labour and Social Development, Jamil Ahmedan, inaugurated, inaugurated uh, the third International Conference on Human Resources Development organized by the Bahrain Society for Training and Development. The two-day conference aims to review successful best practices in building healthier institutions, companies and uh, work environments to support the mental health of employees and workers in various facilities. The Minister stressed the importance of the employees' mental health in improving productivity in any institution and the need to preserve psychological aspects, especially in times of major crises, such as the spread of pandemics and others. Hamidan expressed his thanks to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for their visions and fruitful cooperation between executive and legislative branches. He mentioned the success in achieving the targeted numbers by employing more than 26,000 Bahraini job seekers and training more than 12,000 in 2021 within the National Employment Programme, second edition. Today I have been presenting on the importance of mental health in the workplace and have been presenting five steps for policy makers, managers and supervisors, starting with having an assessment, an assessment of your workplace and what are the determinants of mental health. Based on this assessment, we are recommending for policymakers, managers and supervisors to have a tailored action plan that would address the outcome of this assessment and accordingly to have an operational steps towards addressing these findings from the assessment. The reason we have organized this conference to spread the knowledge uh, to the employers, uh, to the uh, private and public sector, the importance of the mental health at workplace. Based on the research and studies done by the World Economic Forum, uh, the World Economic loss by one US dollar, one uh, trillion dollar, uh, because of the stress and uh, depression uh, on, the employee, for the, uh, the, on the employees in the workplace, which impacts the performance of employees and impacts the productivity, which will impact as well the, the, the profit of the organization. The Minister of Education, Dr. Majid Naimi, patronized the laying of the foundation stone ceremony for Awali National School in the presence of the head of Bahrain Society for Children with Behavioral and Communication Difficulties. Dr. Sheikh Arania bint Ali Al Khalifa and the founder of the school, the minister praised the support and care of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to students with special needs. He affirmed the ministry's keenness to continue supporting the school and providing these services and facilities needed for the students. He added that many students with special needs were integrated into classes in government schools. The Housing Ministry distributed 2,000 more housing units in East Sitra, Salman City and al -Lozi. This came in an implementation of the Royal Directives of distributing 40,000 housing units and the order of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to distribute an additional 2,000 housing units. The Ministry continued housing distributions to legible citizens at an accelerated pace of work. It affirmed the integration of the action plan with regard to establishing new cities and projects for citizens with the aim to achieve the economic recovery plan and meet the aspirations of the people of Bahrain. The Ministry of Health outlined the updated protocol for COVID-19 rapid tests to include swabs for both the throat and nose. And to speak in detail about this, we turn to public health doctor at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Mohamed al -Awadi. Hi and good afternoon to all the viewers and all the listeners and hope you're all doing good. We want to concentrate in this wave, uh, amid this wave, uh, and be weary of certain things. The concentration is mainly to be testing the symptomatic cases. So if you're a close contact, came from travel, or just in general, a person who has COVID-like symptoms, we really encourage that you get tested. We encourage that you get tested by antigen or PCR, whatever is available, as both are widely available in Bahrain. And I'm sure everyone noticed that the protocols have been updated regarding the testing by rapid antigen as well, in which uh, you can get tested uh, by getting the specimen uh, in the throat as well. So it's no longer just nasopharyngeal, it can be oropharyngeal as well, uh, in order to get maximum yield uh, for detection of the virus. The reason why we need people who are symptomatic to be tested is that we need early detection of these cases, to treat them faster and in order to detect their uh, contacts as well. Uh, and hopefully if they needed any hospitalization or needed any medical support, we can notice it as well. 
The Ministry of Health today announced the opening of registration for the Pfizer-BioNTech vaccine for children aged 5 to 11. The ministry stressed the importance of vaccination, particularly for children, to protect them, their families and the community. The Ministry of Health urged all parents who wish to vaccinate their children to register them via the Be Aware app on the ministry's website. The ministry noted that the vaccine will be administered at the vaccination center at Citra Mall. Registration for the vaccine requires the consent of a legal guardian. Children must also be accompanied by an adult when receiving their vaccination.